today we're going to be creating artificial intelligence music for our YouTube channel using FL Studio and Suno. So I want to show you how I use it. Some of the skills you're going to need is some basic audio engineering skills. You know, you don't need to do anything fancy, but we are going to be lining up the clips. Second, you're going to need FL Studio or some kind of sequencer or even a, a instrument. We are going to go into guest mode and we're going to go to Suno.com going to take us here. Now during the sign-in process you can use a Google account, a Microsoft account, even a cell phone number in order to sign up and it will give you 50 free credits. If you don't have FL Studio go ahead and download the free trial. You should be able to make your beat and even export it into a waveform which is what we're going to do. So let me speed through my creation process of coming up with uh, some kind of beat that I think sounds decent and then let's go ahead and throw it into Suno. Okay, so what I've done is I've created a beat. I don't know why it is what it is. Um, it's what I could come up with. It will also be the intro. So let's listen to it one time. We're gonna actually just export this. Export as a WAV file. We're gonna put it into downloads. We are going to upload it into Suno. So here we are, we have it, and we are gonna hit upload. It's gonna check this song, to, one, to make sure it's between six and 60 seconds, and two, that it's not copyrighted. Let's go ahead and hit continue. And it says, I certify that I own this, and I do, I, I own this. So we are just gonna hit extend on this, and it puts us into custom mode. Um, you don't, it's asking if you want lyrics. This is just an instrumental. And this is going to be a uh, movie trailer intro, epic, orchestral, jazz, influence. And we're going to extend from seven seconds. So we just met the threshold, which is kind of funny. So yes, we've uploaded it. Now let's go ahead and hit extend. So now it's going to create two versions of the song. Sometimes it will error out and you'll know it does when the song length is three seconds or four seconds or less. Uh, it will refund you your credits. It's given me 50 credits for this free account, which is amazing. So now let's go ahead and listen to this song. We'll listen to the first one. First, we're going to listen to the original clip that I created in FL Studio. Then it's going to pick up off of the AI generated one. So it's, that's cool, right? So it created the song. It sounds amazing. I like that one. Let's, let's listen to the second one. Now that sounds okay, but what I like to do is to use a beat, throw it into Suno, have it generate a couple of songs, take a snippet from that song and re-upload it back to Suno and have that be the idea for inspiration. So you can look for a section that's small enough and cool enough that you'd want to extrapolate on. Extrapolate, extrapolate. Okay, so now we're gonna play fave part low. This should be the background for this whole video, hopefully. What's even better? Oh. oh man, they're both my favorite now. That is how I use Suno FL Studio and audio editing software to put together the background musics for my YouTube videos. It also is really cool if you're good at making beats, you can throw the audio back, transpose it, use it for inspiration. The, there is so many cool things that Suno can do. And I find myself sometimes get lost in just creating music and I feel like I get to finally be a conductor. I'm not skilled enough or have enough free time to conduct these pieces, but I can turn my ideas into something beautiful that I find pleasing to hear. 
So I hope you found this video enjoyable. If you like this content, please let me know. Please put down some of the, your projects that you're working on, even the links to them uh, in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing with this tutorial. And as always, let's see if we can make a positive difference in this world. 